redeeming the image of Africa all over the world. Okay, good morning my wonderful people. How are you all today? Um, a beautiful day to you wherever you are in the world. I remain your G, Arenga. Yeah, today is a special day. I'm still in Oyo. Yes, Oyo town. That's where I am. However, I just want to show you people, some of you have been asking for, you know, where to eat. The best restaurant, the best food canteen to eat when you come to Oyo. So here now, I'm at Oja, which is almost close to First Bank at Oja. So when you get to here, so all you need to do is to ask for Ogo Oluwa Food Canteen. So I'm going to show you, you can see. So here now, let's move and go straight to Ogo Oluwa Food Canteen. This is Ogolua Food Canteen. It's a mighty food canteen, but I want to give you the processing, you know, as in how they do their food, how they prepare their food, so for people to eat. It is a very busy place, but we just have to bring everything to you so that you see how genuine this food canteen is. From the scratch to the finished product, where you see people sitting, eating. Are you with me? So I have with me my boy, Toby. So he's the one that will be with me throughout today's vlog. So stay tuned and uh, keep watching. However, let me just tell you this. Here, they kill their goats themselves. What they sell most is solid food like eba amala inyon that's pounded yam uh, semo fufu and so on and so forth anything solid that is what they do sell here so stay with me as i take you around to see the processing of ogolua food canteen so like i said to you that Ogolua Food Canteen starts the processing right from killing the goats, preparing the goats, so you can see. So this is not, <laughs> it's not then say, oh, this is real. You can see? So it's fresh. It's fresh and we have Baba here that has been working on uh, uh, the, the meat. Baba Akilo Ruko Insa. I'm I'm not your assist. I'm not your assist. Oh the two do me lo te tin ba awon mama si se. Let's say 20 years ago. 20 years ago. Wow. So in fact that's to tell you that this is the best place for you to come and uh, eat because for someone to have worked with someone for over 20 years ago it shows that yes there's no other place rather than this place when you come to or your so just keep watching. So this is what we call beguri. Yeah, I think beguri is being uh, uh, yes, like a locust beans. I mean, no, is it what what type of beans do they use in uh, preparing beguri? 
The normal beans, okay, so that's Belgiri. So it, it normally goes with Amala. Uh -huh. So that is Belgiri for you, and you can see how, you know, uh, busy they are. That's palm oil. Oh, wow. So now, you can see, this is where they are preparing the, the soup itself with the goat's meat. So, that's to tell you that you are here for the best treat ever in or your town. So, and you can see, the women doing it are very, very neat and uh, they know how to do this job very well. Many of them have been working with Mama for over 20 years and yet they are still here, so they have mastered what they are doing. Here is the entrance of uh, uh, Ogolua Food Canteen, and uh, I want to show you, you know, um, the way they, you know, take care of uh, the hall, as in where people come in to eat. You can see how neat it is. Yeah, you have a washing hand basin. Once you come in, you wash your hand here. And then uh, you can see the staff taking good care of uh, the, the tables and the chair. So we are going to spend the whole day here with the Ogolua uh, food canteen uh, staff. You can see there's another one. And uh, this is fun. And there's a fridge here. It depends on whatever you want. If you want a soda, you know, water, anything. So you get it here. And um, from what I had, I learned this is where the food are being set, isn't it? Okay, and uh, you can see my dear sister too is also trying to take care of um, all these things. They have toothpick, toothpick, a bit, toothpick, tissue paper, servet for you to. So, and. They make sure that the food is hot while serving, and that is what this, I, I guess that's what this madam is doing here, to make sure that it's hot, so that it will not look as if, oh, you are eating cold food. So this one will be eating, the, I, I will still go around to show you um, this, and uh, when they put everything on it, so I will bring everything to your life and direct. So just stay tuned and there. Uh, keep watching. We are still at Ogolua Food Canteen and like I said to you that they sell all kinds of uh, solid food. So now what they are preparing is Semo. Yeah, that is what they are preparing now. Very hard working people. They really know what they are doing and they know how to do it best. And from what I had over there, that's cheese. I guess this is, yes, this is cheese. They call it wara. And the wara is uh, milk from a uh, cow, isn't it? Yes.
whereas milk from cow so this is what they do to it and it's very delicious as well so you get all this we still bring you more for you to see because like i said i want to see the way they prepare everything from beginning to the end so we are still here just stay tuned and uh, keep watching like i said to you that whatever you are being served here is hot and not no, they are not cold food so the way they preserve their food here to make sure that it's always hot look at it you can see and you can see that the cheese this one is the cheese and it's hot as well and uh, look at that look at that so that is to tell you that whatever you get here is what is authentic so and that's a sister who is serving and the seven people that are buying the food so how beautiful this is coming out the smoke is just terrible for me but however that's part of it and then look at how beautiful yeah, wow. so, however, I guess that's what I'm going to take this morning so for those of you that are watching all over the world wherever you are this is the best place for you to eat solid food in all your town it's right beside the first bank and they call this place uh, eh? ogolua food canteen so we are still here right and direct Hello my wonderful people, um, we are still at Ogolua Food Canteen and um, right beside me I have a mother, grandmother and in person of the owner of the Ogolua Food Canteen. So I will be asking mama some questions now and uh, I hope I will justify some of the questions that you will want to hear from Mama. Eka Roma. Eka Roma. Shida Dalabaima. I do well. 
ijo ko pelu ma ani ka bere ni ma kini oruko yin ma emi ni kudiratu adeyemo kudiratu adeyemo eh o ti to bi odun melo ti e ti bere eh owo ina didai ma 30 years 30 years can you hear that wow eh kini nti o su yin si di pe ka ma dano ka ma so nje ta fun awon eyan fun fun ke gbogbo ole da na ni ki ara dugbo mo da mu nje ki a awon omo mi no si mo da mu ati je ti ja temi na toko tun mo fi be enu nje ama mo ti lo bi odun mewa seyin kin to pada gba babe lerun don't can you hear what uh, mommy just said she said she's been in the business for over 30 years now and uh, what made her to you know embark on this food business is simply because she wants people not to get starved yes and even his family so that he can cater for her family as well uh, so i guess that's the reason why she said she started selling you know food to his neighbors and now mama is well known all over oyo state anyone that comes to oyo town and you have not visited mama you've not been anywhere if you don't eat mama's food you have not eaten any food at all so now what i want to ask mama i do she has even answered it she said she does you know catering for people people do call her those that want to do housewarming naming ceremony barrier to prepare food for them and that's one thing that she does and in case you are watching right now and you need mama's service i'm sure you have no choice than to come to mama here you can reach mama on this number Mama has children that are running this business for her, and the children are well educated. Uh -huh. So he has MD. You know, Mama has modernized his biz her business. She has modernized her business. She has MD, and uh, you know, and these are her children that grew up with her while I mean, when she started the business. So uh, on this note, I want to employ you all to come and visit. Ogoluwa Food Canteen whenever you come to or your town. Mommy, a shake up, a marine bama. Kini a be a name, come the first of one when you need a one little fair unit. You pay him Modu Pella war money. But Bobatin said to one while the war is in Zimbabwe. I belong in that talk, Pama Dori. Dori, I'm a no city, but it's a war or not big. But Bunty about your own and you go to the Lara. I want to laughing. alone <laughs> oh, you've heard it all from Mama, and uh, she has also, you know, thank uh, our customers and everyone that has contributed to uh, Sussex. This is what I'm having now, and as you can see, you have some customers as well. So don't let me disturb them. Let me find my way to 
where I'm going to battle with uh, this. And like I said, there's a zinc here where you wash your hands before eating. So this is it. Ah. So as you can see, we have uh, a lot of people behind me that are also uh, customers and they are here to, you know, eat as well. So, I'm going to sit down and uh, try to do judgment to what I have here. This is just delicious. This is the best amala that I've ever eaten in my life. Honestly. This is the best ever. This is the best ever. Like I said to you, while uh, we were doing an interview for Mama, and uh, Mama also said that uh, you know it's more or less like a business, uh, family business, because most of uh, Mama's business uh, children grew up with the business, and this is one of uh, Mama's uh, daughter-in-law. So she's been very active. If you come down to this place, you will definitely meet her. Her name is uh, Mrs. Wasma. Mrs. Shukrat Adeyemo. So anytime you come down to this place, you will definitely see Mama's children here. Yes. So it's not that maybe what they are selling is not what they are eating. That is, I just finished eating. You can see toothpick in my hand. You can see that. Oh my God. The, 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 the goat meat is superb. How much is the goat meat? That if you go to Lagos, I'm sure you won't get it less than 500 naira and look at it here 200 naira please whenever you visit or your state wherever you have it's not that too far for you to come down to or your town around first bank and ask of ogolua food canteen they will be there to serve you better thank you very much and god bless uh, on this note we have to round up by saying um, bye bye and there, uh, oh, double catch ya.